Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Maze of Millennia Booster Box. It's the latest Collector Rare set. Let's jump right into it. Uh, this one's been a long time coming. It, the box has been all over the place. It took a while for USPS to get this to me. It's traveled all over the country. I've seen a number of cities, I've seen more cities than I've seen in my life. So let's get into it without further ado. Of course, you guys know. We always are looking forward to getting collector's rares if we can get our hands on them. They've adjusted the ratios. We get more ultra rares now. We get four ultra rares per box instead of three. So that's nice. And of course, you guys have probably seen the saga of the bonfire card, which is the $100 ultra rare or thereabouts currently. So we'll go in through it, see what we can get. If we get bonfire in the ultra, we'll probably sell that. Um... And if we get the Collector Rare, eh, we might sell that Collector Rare, might not. That's going to be a tough one. Uh, obviously, you never really know. Uh, if you get it, that's a decision to be made at that time. I, I did not sell my Collector Rare Baron, and then they reprinted it seven times in Rarity Collection, and it went down. But I like the card, uh, so I kept it. So it, it's one of those hit or miss kind of things. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we've got a hit coming. I can see the outline. What are we going to get? We got Ring Announcer. We've got Supreme King Dragon Dark Rebellion. And we've got a Quarter Century Rare Junk Warrior. Let's go. Right off the bat, two packs in. We got a Quarter Century Rare. Let's go. Let's leave this bad boy up. And put this off to the side. So we've already got a hit in the box. I'm going to keep this card. I won't sell that. But that's awesome. Get a quarter century secret rare. That is available inside the box. Um, as well as collector rares. So two more rares to go. Hopefully this is a, a big ticket box for us here. I was, I'm just over here talking about bonfire and getting collector rares. And we didn't have time to get into the good stuff yet. So, hey, we we got a hit. We got a show a pillar. Like I said, Bonfire, obviously, the saga with that going on. Obviously, it's a, like $100 ultra rare. Uh, when it first came out, it was, you know, you guys know, seen the videos. Ruxin's talked about it. APS has talked about it. You know, everybody's mentioned it. MBT, I'm I just rattling off. You, you've seen all the videos. You know, there, there's, there's some arguments you made that there shouldn't be any staple cards uh, being worth hundreds of dollars. Like now, collector rares. Uh, we got Kai, uh, Kai Optera here. Ultra rares, probably not. We should be up that high. But collector rares, ghost rares. I, I don't have an issue with chase cards being that high in value. But staples, deck meta cards. Right, SP Little Knight. We just saw it with that. The quarter century rare version of that, no problem, right? No problem with that being a big time thing, but printing it in just a secret rare that ended up being so, uh, so expensive as well. There's, there's just not, not anything great for for the competitive meta. It doesn't get people in to the game, and then they become big targets for further reprints, which leads us into kind of the discussion of rarity collection. As a whole, they've announced Rarity Collection 2, which I am excited for, um, just because of some of the cards they've announced. I'm really excited for Rescue Cat getting seven reprints. Uh, I think that's a, I love that card. I have no problem announcing that. We got Ring Announcer and Bonfire. Let's go. Okay, speaking of Bonfire here, just the ultra rare version of Bonfire, but say that like it's a bad thing so they were talking about hundred dollar cards we will be selling bonfire uh here for this hit there is no reason for me to keep this i have no no need or interest for this card uh, in the in thing but big time hit let's go um this box is just is rocking here I will, I will take that ultra rare all day. Makes back the cost of the box, right, at 90 something dollars. 
So by the time you guys see this video uploaded, it'll be a day after I've filmed it. It'll already be up on Brett Flame Sword Realm. It'll all be up on YouTube or it'll all be ready up on eBay. Probably have sold by then since I underlist the value of my cards by a few dollars to get them out the door. Um, but speaking of variety collection, excited to have it come out. Rescue Cat, I'm going to probably make sure I get all seven copies of it. It's definitely one of my favorite cards. Uh, and then really excited for Bike, uh, IP Masquerada. I think it's the better artwork, and it's only been in gold uh, rare as well, which is just a terrible print style. The gold rares are not that great. Uh, and again, everyone complains about that as well, so I'm not hashing anything new there that you guys haven't already heard or seen. But... If you have cards that are going to be targets of reprints, collector cards, things like that, obviously, if you've been holding on to something, there aren't that many staples left that are good targets for, you know, 80 cards by Ultimate Flame Swordsman. Good targets left to be uh, reprinted in mass quantity. They've announced a couple of them here, but... You know, we, we know some of the cards are even set, obviously, but we don't know everything. But there's not many cards left. They're, they're hitting staples, things that people need, and, and big targets throughout the, like, the history of the game. And first one took care of a bunch. We got, you know, Imperm, Ash, a lot of hand traps. I think we're getting Ghost Bell in the second one, if my memory serves correctly. There's not that many left. That are, are really big cards that people absolutely need that are staples of the game. So we're going to probably see Chaos Angel because that was got a duplicate gear blade there. But Chaos Angel was really expensive on its first print uh, when it came out. Hasn't been printed since. There's a chance we could see an SP Little Knight print. It's new, very out of the blue. Probably not going to happen, but things like that. So like any card that's a target that's, you know, big time dollar value is probably up for hits. I am going to make my call now that I think that uh, Pot of Greed is coming off the ban list and it's going to get seven prints. And I think that it's time, based that we've seen Snatch Deal come off, we've seen some other stuff, Obstruct Goblins, Goblin, Goblins come off. Ooh, we got Thrust as well. This is like a $30 ultra rare in the set. Let's go. Go ahead and get a sleeve here. Again. Just go ahead and put that bad boy in there. So that's quarter century rare. And two of the three best ultras. If we can get transaction rollback. Woo! We are just hitting it. That's our first set. Coptera. Like I said, I, I just, you know, anything that like you're holding on to value. Like, I mean, I've got my collector, Rhoda. Rhoda's got tons of prints. Baron. I like the collector rares. But, like, Ancient Chant. Had only gotten one print. Knew it was going to get reprinted. It's reprinted in here twice as an ultra and as a collector rare. Not worth... You know, anything. Things like that. It's get rid of cards while you can. Knowing that that's coming out. If you think there's something that you've been holding on to. And are expecting it to go up. Don't count on anything. You know, Appaloosa or Appaloosa is going to get reprinted. Big hit there. You know, seven prints of that will probably bring down some pretty big value. Obviously, that, that Rising Rampage Starlight. We'll probably come down a little bit from the one grand it sits at, but you know, it's it's if you've been holding on to it and you're like, I'm waiting to move it, this is like your advance warning, your cat pack openings, card investing strategy. But we're gonna keep junk warrior. We'll sell Bonfire and we'll sell Triple Tactics for sure. Arcana Force, super rare.
If we had gotten a bonfire collector, maybe. Give me that transaction roll bat. Earthbound servant cards. I do like the artwork. I do like the like those lines. I can't remember what they're called. We got Magic Specter Cyclone. Speaking of ancient chant, really glad that I sold my copy from Rage of Raw back when it first hit before that reprint came around. I sold that card for like $27, $28 and those cards, it's like a $2 card now. So that's, that's always good news. All right, what else we got? Flame Swords Dance, we've got Sun God Unification, Satellite Synchron, what else do we got? We got Photon Delta Wing, we got a Collector Rare. Oh man, let's go. This box is hidden. We're gonna keep this as well. So we got a collector, a quarter century, bonfire. Whew. This box is throwing smoke. We might still have another slot. That's we're only on the second column here. I still got three packs left. A Doppel Warrior, Desynchro, Rescue Ace, Reprint. Okay, I'll forgive USPS for taking their sweet time to get this box to me. Because it's been worth it. Earthbound Prison. And then we got a few more rares. Last Pack Magic. Can we get transaction rollback? Make this like a $200 box. Altergeist, Salamander with Chain, Triangle O, Drastic Draw as an ultra rare. Oh, it's the cheapest ultra rare, one of them. But Ancient Chan, Drastic Draw, but let's go back and look at our hits here. I mean, we've got we got Triple Tactics Thrust, if we can say it correctly, as an Ultra. We got the $100 Bonfire. We got Junk Warrior. A little bit difficult to read, but Quarter Century Secret Rare, which will go in the collection. And Photon Delta Wing as a Collector Rare. Fantastic, fantastic set here. So we appreciate you guys stopping in and watching the video. Let me know what your favorite pull from this box was. We'll get them all here on screen for you. Let me know what it was, and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.